Hello, my name is Ashley. I'm back again. Now we're going to show you another uh, design, which it calls a beehive. And uh, this is nice, beautiful design too. Let me show you. It's over here. This is the one, which is a beehive. And uh, it's very beautiful. You will see over here the way the threads, the design, it's sticking out. It's out. You're going to see how we are doing this design for you. All right. So just follow the steps that we've done the other one. It's going to make it easier. Now, only one thing today, the way I'm going to show you, instant to do on the uh, circle ones, because it's going to take too much time. I'm going to do it on a straight one. And then, um, uh, which is always, it's the same thing. You're going to go round and round and you're going to make the design. But I'm going to show you here so it will finish it up easier. Otherwise, it's going to take way too long time for me until to show you the design. All right. It's very interesting. It's beautiful. And you're going to love it. And I want to thank to Yana that she showed me her design. It looks like she's following and she's doing a wonderful job. I'm proud of you. Just follow, continue, look at it. You're going to learn plenty of them. And uh, if you want to know what kind of thread and needle I use, just click, click on the link and you will see in the description. Okay, so now we're going to start to do the beehive, which I showed you here. I'm trying to do on this little design so we don't have to go round and round because it's taking time. But if you're going to do it, it's the same way we have to do. Now I'm going to start to do it. Uh, first, for the few lines, for the few rows, I want to say, let me show over here. For a couple row, you can just do simple, regular stitches, which it will be this one just you put the you put the needle again always on top and you go pull it that's one that's two that's three now i'm going to show you a small hive i'm going to make it you can make it a bigger hive like bigger box like this let's keep this on we can do it bigger like this, or we can make smaller ones. We can do further from each other, or we can do closer to each other. Here, because I want you to learn more, so I'm going to do two together closer to each other. So after four seats, doesn't matter how many seats do you do, you always make sure that when you go round and round, it will be kind of the same distance. If it's one seat less or one seat extra, do not worry about it. So. After the four seats, let's make it five. Okay, here's the five seats. What we do is we put one flower seed. We have to make it like a flower, just one like this. That's one. And then you continue again, you do like five or six or seven stitches away like you make it further from each other i can make it i'm gonna show you bigger or smaller doesn't matter i'm gonna make this is three four and five seeds okay now when i leave the five seeds later i'm gonna make one two three for the beehive to go up and then closing back. So now from here, while it's five, I'm gonna leave over here two five. I'm gonna do another five seeds. Well, because let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, okay, that will be good. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, Four. and this is in the fifth we'll put it here because we need extra this side so we'll do this we'll do another flower seeds like I said it doesn't matter how far you do how small you do you just have to make sure that you have 
a box. A you made the, like the beehive. Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay, now pretend that this is a circle and I'm going round and round and round until to come back over here. So what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna cut my thread, okay? So we'll pretend we came round and I went back to the same place. You don't have to worry, it's the same thing you're gonna do. You're just, let's say if you arrive to the end, you're gonna jump on the next, you know, like to continue. So when you're continuing, just like this, you come closer to the pedal. Now this is the flower pedal, right? So if you don't pass, you're just next to it. Before the pedal, there is a place over here. In the same seeds, you go, you make another pedal. And now this one, it stays forward. Now you go, see behind this, there is no seeds. It's just a flower petal it is. So what do we do? We go next to it and we make another seeds. Like see the seed stays, this seed stays behind the pedal. The pedal stays in the front. Now you see here and now in the same hole that you did from the back, you go to the same hole and you make your pedal, flower pedal. There you go. Then you continue, do with regular seeds. Now remember, we're doing this because I don't want to go round and round and take the time and take your time. I'm sure you're gonna be able to figure it out. It's not hard. I'm explaining you very clear. Now I'm on the last one, the last seat next to the pedal. I'll go in, I'll make the seeds. And then in the same hole, I'll go back again and I make the pedal. You make sure the other pedal will be away from your hand so you won't tighten it up, tangle it. Here there is the other pedal, and this is the first row pedal. I'll put it down. You don't have to, but I'm just showing you. You put it down and go next to it and make a little seeds. And then you leave the pedal and you see it's hanging in the front. Then you do it another pedal. There you go. So then you continue to do the seeds, which let's say that now we did this. How many seeds did you put here? For example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And before we did the pedal, there was nine and 10. So you continue from the beginning. When you, before you do, when you start to do the first one, you do the same thing from here to here, the distance, from here to here, the distance. You have to keep the same distance. You have to keep 10 seeds, one, two, three, four, five seeds, just like here. So it will be even just like this one over here. See, when I make the seeds, I count them and I do the first pedal. I count them the first pedal. When I go second time, second row, you do not have to count anything. It's only the first row you have to count to make sure that the beehives are in the right places. Once you put here, the first, pet, the first line you count, second line you don't have to count. Automatically goes round and round. Now, we finish this part. I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna put new thread because this is too short. We don't wanna play with it. Okay, let's cut, let's make another one. You can thread your, you can put your thread this way when you fold it. When you fold, you pull it strong so it will make it sharp. And then you bend it a little bit. Don't keep it round like this. When you bend too flat, it goes easier. And you pull it. So, now we're gonna go on a third row. Again, pretend we went round and we came back here. 
and let's say we did 10 seats here, then it becomes nine and then becomes eight and then becomes one by one, it gets smaller and smaller, which it makes the beehive, it will build the beehive. It makes it, makes it uh, square, the beehive. So now we do again, small seeds, 